Hey everyone, this is John here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at using Microsoft Flow to automatically post videos from YouTube to Twitter and LinkedIn. So whenever we upload a new video to YouTube, it's going to automatically publish it to our Twitter and our LinkedIn accounts as well. So let's create a new Microsoft Flow, and let's just create it from blank. And again, just create from blank. And this is going to be triggered from YouTube. So let's search YouTube and select that. And we got a list of triggers here. And what we want is when I upload a video. So let's use that. And now the first time you use these, you're going to have to sign in to your account and give Microsoft Flow access to do certain things on your YouTube account. And the next thing is we're going to add a new step. And this one, we're going to add a uh, Twitter as an action. So search for Twitter and select that. And we want to use the post a tweet action. And let's see those advanced options. And the tweet that we're going to post is, let's just add a little emoji there pointing down. And we're going to add the video title. And let's just press enter. And on a new line, let's add the hyperlink to the video. So this stuff here that I've added is dynamic content based on the video that's uploaded. If you don't see this list here, uh, just make sure you hit this add dynamic content button and it'll bring it up here and it should show the list of available options from your YouTube trigger. So we're done with the post a tweet action. That's going to post a tweet to our Twitter account and we can move on to our LinkedIn account now. So let's search for LinkedIn and select that. And now the LinkedIn connections, they're all in preview right now. So they might change slightly in the future. But the one we are looking for is to share an article. So let's select that. And again, let's take a look at the more advanced options. So we definitely want to share our dynamic content of the video URL, so a hyperlink to the video. And let's select visibility, anyone. And again, the title of this post, we also want the uh, video title there. And that's it for our LinkedIn step. Uh, now we're just going to add an optional step that I want. So I want to be able to track all my YouTube videos. And I just want to store them in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to search for Excel and Excel online for business. And we're going to use the add a row command into a table. So basically, I just want to continually store all the URLs for all my videos and the titles associated with those. And so I've already set up a spreadsheet for this. So just going to locate that. And then just browse to the folder that has that file. And it's a file called YouTube video list. So I'll select that. And then I need to select the table that's in that file where I want to store some information. And that table's only got three fields in it. So I want to store the title of my video. And I want to store the link. And I also want to know when it was published. So there's a dynamic content here for that uh, video publish date. And that's it for the flow. So Whenever I upload a video, I'm going to post a tweet and share an article on LinkedIn and also store the information about the YouTube video in an Excel spreadsheet. 
So we're done and we can just name this. And save it. All right, so now we can test this out. So I've got a video ready to upload to YouTube. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And once it's done uploading, I can publish it. And in a couple minutes, I should see some posts on Twitter and LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna check my flows and just go back. And when you're in my flows, uh, you'll see a list of all your flows. And from there, you can just click on the one you just created. And it's gonna bring you to this screen, uh, which has information about the flow, you know, what you're connected to, and also a run history here. So eventually we'll see the post that we just made on YouTube appear here in the run history. So I gave it a couple minutes to do its thing, and then I refreshed the browser, and we can see a uh, run history here, and we can see that it's succeeded. And we can also click on that and see a bit more detail if we want. And we get uh, information about each step here, so we can see that each step uh, succeeded. And if we want, we can go in and see even more detail about what happened in those steps. Now let's head over to Twitter and check it out. So here's my timeline and let's just refresh that. And here's the tweet right here. So replace values, tips in Power Query. And let's check out LinkedIn. And let's go to my notifications here. I think I'll see it there. So yeah, your post was shared successfully on LinkedIn from YouTube, and I can view the post here, and there it is. And lastly, I also wanna check out and make sure that my information has been pushed to my spreadsheet. So here's the spreadsheet open, and I get my title and YouTube link and the published date for that video. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to set something up that's gonna help you save a little bit of time each time you post to YouTube and automatically post your videos to Twitter and LinkedIn for you. And also allow you to keep track of your videos as well by uh, pushing that information into a spreadsheet for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.